So if you have a circle with two tangents and those two tangents intersect at the same exterior point, so they intersect at a point outside of the circle, then those two tangent lines, those two segments are going to be congruent to each other. So since segment AB is tangent to circle D and tangent CB is, since segment AB is tangent to circle D at point A and segment CB is tangent to circle D at point C, since those two tangents intersect at this common point B, those are congruent segments, so AB and CB. So, so AB and CB are going to be congruent to each other. So in our first example, those two segments BC and BD are both tangent to circle A. They intersect at this common point. C outside the circle, so therefore they're congruent. So I can set them equal to each other. X plus 3 equals 7. Subtract 3 and you get X equals 4. So in the second example, we have two separate circles. So if we're looking at circle X, segment QT and segment RT are going to be congruent. So segment QT would be congruent to segment RT because they're both tangent to circle A and they intersect at point T. And then in, for circle B, segment ST and RT are both tangent to circle B. They intersect at point T, so they're congruent as well. And so by the, whoa, haven't seen this in a long time, transitive property, segment QT is congruent to segment ST. This segment QT is congruent to segment ST because they're both um, intersecting. Those two tangents are both intersecting with the same segment, so they're congruent to each other. So we can set 3x minus 8 equal to x plus 10. Subtract the x, you get 2x minus 8. Add the 8, you get 18. Divide by 2, x is 9.